Hello, my lovelies, and I am back again with another upload for you today. Today, I will be doing a cool-toned look on my eyes and on my lips. The entire face will pretty much be cool-toned, and I'm going to go in with my Chanel LeBlanc base, and I'm just going to go in with this with my fingers and just rub it all over. And now using my Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Primer Potion. As you can see, I accidentally put on a little bit too much, but I'm taking advantage of that. I'm just going to spread it all over my eyes. Going in with my Sephora Wish number 4, Be a Hero. I'm using this matte off-white shade to set the primer. And now going in with wish number two, be a role model. I'm going to go in with this mauve matte shade. And it's going to be my transition color. And I'm just going to play this right in my crease. Going back with wish number four, I'm going to be using the black shimmer color. This is going to go in in the outer V. And I'm just going to slowly bring this in. I'm not taking any excess color. Just going to work on it with the brush. And now going in with this shimmery orangey color, I'm putting this right in the middle of my eyelid and I'm going to create this small gradient and I'm going to blend it in with the black. Now going back in with my transition color, I'm just going to use it with the same brush to just blend everything together. Now going in with my Essence Cosmetics Smoky 2-in-1 Coal Eyeliner, I'm just going to tight line in my upper lash line and I'm just going to add a little bit on top of my eyelids. Now using a pencil brush, I'm just going to blend everything out. Just create a tiny bit of a smoky look, make it look neat. And using that same brush, not picking up any other color, I'm just going to blend my lower lash line. And now just giving my curls a little bit of a curl with my Sephora eyelash curler. Going on my Maybelline New York Last Sensational Waterproof Mascara, I'm just going to give my lashes a little bit of a push up. And now with my L'Oreal Paris False Lash Waterproof Miss Manga Mascara, I'm just going to add this as a second coat just to give it that va va voom that I would want. And now on to the face. I'm going to use this green color here. It's like part of my creamy concealer kit just to counteract any redness that I have on my face. As you can see, I have quite a lot, especially around my nose. And I always use this on top of my permanent scar right below my right eye. Up next, we have the Catrice Cosmetics I Like It Creamy Highlighter Stick. And I'm just going to put this on the usual spots, tip of my nose, all over my nose, a little bit on top of the forehead, cupid's bow, below my nose, cheekbones. Now, I'm just uh, not blending any of this yet because I want you guys to see how I would do this. For my nose, I use my fingers to help blend because actually this stick is actually very hard to blend, even with a sponge, no matter how wet it is. And I'm going in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in Honey. Now I'm just going to blend everything together. Blending everything together actually was a lot tougher. I should have done it right away, but since I wanted to show you guys, I decided to go with this way because after I go in with my foundation, none of this can be seen at all. It perfectly blends and covers together very, very well. But as you guys already know, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is one of the best and blendable high-end concealer I have ever encountered in my life and is probably my all-time favorite high-end concealer. As you can see, I'm totally struggling. And now going on my foundation, I'm using my Catrice Cosmetics Photo Finish 18 Hour Liquid Foundation in Caramel Beige. I'm just going to use my foundation brush to place this all over my face and later buff it in with my Fake Pink Beauty Blender. My beauty blenders tend to be extremely damp. I do not towel dry it after squeezing out all the water because I like it that way because my face is extremely dry and I feel like I like that moisture that it gives. And now going back with my creamy concealer palette, I'm using the lightest shade of concealer to highlight on the usual spots.
Now blending with my fake black beauty blender, which is by the way, the best sponge I've ever encountered. Now the concealers in this palette that I have blends absolutely so well and it's not too pigmented for the lighter colors, but their dark colors are extremely pigmented. Whenever I contour with it, it works quite well. And now going with my Skin Food Loose Powder. It is a peach sake silky finishing powder and it's super fun as you can see. This gives my face a powdery look but it's not a bad powdery look. It sets everything so well. And now Collection Bronze Glow Matte in Terracotta. I'm just going to use this to overall bronze up my face before I go in with my contouring shade. And now going with my contouring one, this is the Etude House Face Color Corset in Tight Shading Corset. I pretty much generally do the same things every time. I always place it on the same areas, but this color is more cool toned and it is more precise in a sense. So I do go over it twice with two colors. Some people might find that weird, but this second one is the only one I use to also contour up my nose with a little brush that I have from Red Earth. And of course, below the mouth to give it a plumpness. And now my highlighter, the Etsy House Secret Beam Highlighter in Gold Beige, just in the useful spots. As you can see, I do a lot of highlighting because that's what I really extremely like. And contouring as well. I love the chiseled look. It just makes my face look so much thinner. And now my e.l.f. Baked Blush in Peachy Cheeky, which gives off a very natural glow. It's almost like a highlighter itself, but I'm just going to put this all over my cheeks. And now my Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in this very dark nude shade. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm not overlining them. I'm just doing it exactly where my lips are. And then later, I'm going to color in my entire lip with this one too, because I want the lipstick to last a long time and give off the color a very a nudey, a matte color. And now going with my Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Mysterious Mocha, which is, by the way, the creamiest matte I've ever had. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.